I'm Janet Inman, I'm the Chief Executive Officer of Lincolnshire Sports Partnership and we're here tonight at the 7th Annual Sports Awards here at the Epic Showground in Lincoln. Tonight is really about the various people, volunteers and clubs that support sport across the county. We have 400 people here tonight and we've got 16 awards and then the final which will be the Sports Personality of the Year Award making it a fantastic evening for sport. The Active for Health Award is awarded to an individual who has used physical activity to make a positive difference to their lives over the past 12 months. The winner is Maureen Carrington Hunt. Well, what actually made you say, I'm going to do something about this? I just felt it was time that um, I dealt with my health and fitness. Really pleased to have won this award, it's just been amazing. I didn't think I could get this far, but I have and I'm really glad I did. What do you say to a lot of the kids who are doing sport and exercise science about what, where they're going to end up? Uh, well, I guess one of the, the main things that we, we try and embed in our course is uh, to, to, to practice and uh, get employability skills as they're going through it. To win Sports Educator would be uh, really fantastic, really happy with it. I didn't really expect to win it, but uh, to, to be here and uh, it's really kind of achievement of, of all the hard work I do. And I'd like to invite somebody from Stagecoach East Midlands to join me on stage for the Coach of the Year Award. The winner is another Gary, Gary Quittington. <laughs> I mean, so tell us about canoeing. What, what is the state of the sport at the moment? The sport nationally is actually very, very good. It's, it's um, huge. It's becoming a lot bigger than um, when it was in my day when I was paddling. And we've got Olympic champions now. The winner is Birchwood Junior Colts FC. What does winning an award like this mean to you? Oh, this is fantastic. I mean, the, uh, the work, that, not just me, but the, everybody, all the volunteers put in, giving it their own time. Um, and it's been a sort of long road. I mean, the success is starting to come. And I'm hopefully other, other clubs will share in the success as well. Um, because I say it's, is it's through a strong league and other good clubs that we get involved and play against. And I say is, this is as much for them as it is for us. Tell us which one of those three fantastic servants of sport has actually won the Lifetime Achievement Award. And the winner is Lawrence Oliver. How has technology impacted on your sport? When I started, you made your own canoe out of a wooden frame and covered it in canvas, which always leaked. And now we have, and I bought my first one for 10 shillings, and uh, that's 50p for those of you who don't know. It's obvious what you've given the sport. What has the sport given you? Oh, it's something I've enjoyed for 55 years. And um, friendship on a scale you couldn't probably imagine in a way. Yeah. And I've been all over the world. Well, so many winners. But uh, at the end of the evening, and uh, those nice people from Mercedes Benz uh, have uh, said they're going to present, present a special award to, if you like, the king amongst kings, the person who they think is the outstanding winner of all the categories this evening to win the Lincolnshire Sports Personality of the Year. And I'd like to ask uh, Steve Raywood to come up from Mercedes-Benz to tell us who is the winner. The Sports Personality of the Year is Richard Sargent. There's one thing I wanted to say before that I didn't really say. Uh, as an athlete, you can train, you can get yourself ready for competitions, and you train for the medals that you achieve. But these sort of awards, well, I can tell you right now, they mean more than the silver medal I won with the GB Juniors this year because this sort of award doesn't come from training, you can't prepare yourself. It comes from the people that are back at home, and without them, 
the sport wouldn't be what it is, and, and I'd like to thank the person who nominated me, which was uh, uh, Pat Coates, um, who was a, one of the many teachers who fought for me to be staying in mainstream school. And, and those sort of people are the, the people that give you the backbone to really achieve in your sport. And, and these sort of awards, it, it, it's a privilege, and I'm actually shaking. Um, <laughs> it, it's, it's just, it's an honor, and it's a privilege, and no amount of training can, can get you one of these. It's, it's, it's you guys, you guys, all of you guys sat right there. So thank you ever so much.